guys, welcome to another TFL behind the scenes video. And uh, since it's the beginning of September, we wanted to kind of fill you in on what's going on here in September. And the biggest thing we're doing is we're doing a mid-size truck mashup, basically taking all the mid-size trucks and doing a full-on review of them. And that's gonna involve going off-road. And so this weekend, show them the Raptor, Andre. I was out scouting a potential off-road trip for the pickup truck comparison, and I went up and over Webster Pass. Now Webster Pass goes from um, basically Keystone, Colorado over to 285 and uh, on Trail Damage, which is a website that rates how hard a trail is, it's about a four, which isn't too hard out of 10. But there is one part of it that is rather daunting. So 99.9% .9 of it was child's play for the Raptor, but I get to the very top of Webster Pass, about 12,000, I'm on my way down and there are these guys in two Cherokees and they're like, oh, it's gonna get a little tight. And on trail damage, it says portions get a little tight. You may have to like back up. There's no room to pass. So I'm following a forerunner, and all of a sudden I notice lifted, of course, that he's going very slow. And I'm like, wonder why he's going slow. Now keep in mind that on this side of the truck is a sheer wall. So basically it's a mountainside with a ledge and then a 2000 foot drop off. And on this side, come over here with me. On this side of the truck, imagine this white line. Beyond the white line is a 2,000 foot fall straight down. So now we are hugging this wall like you wouldn't believe because if the tires go over the white line here, the truck is gonna just tumble down this way. And that's really the problem with taking a Raptor off-road. It's not that it's not capable, it's just that it's too wide, especially in tight circumstances. So we were hugging the wall. Luckily, we've got the new KO2s and they did really great because these tires were scraping up against the side of the mountain. And luckily they've got much thicker sidewalls. So here you can see what happened where I hit a rock, did a little bit of uh, wheel damage. And over here, of course, in the running board, I also hit a rock on the side of the uh, mountain, but that was much preferable to actually tumbling off the mountain. <laughs> so I figured out something from this weekend's well, it wasn't misadventure, but adventure. The perfect vehicle to go off-road in is not a Ford Raptor or a Land Rover, or even a new uh, Jeep. It's a 20-year-old Cherokee because you just don't give a flying hoot about what happens to the truck. You bash it up, things get damaged, wheels get scratched, but it's a 20-year-old Cherokee, so who cares? Anytime you have a new vehicle, even in this case, a three-year-old Raptor, it takes well, it takes a little bit of pain for you to be able to actually sustain uh, damage like this and not have it hurt. Not the truck, but, you know, your soul. So I'm going to switch this camera over to Andre, and he's going to show you what uh, other truck we have in the office this week. Now, the other truck we have at the office this week is this 2017 Nissan Armada Platinum 4x4. And Nissan says this truck, this SUV, is good at two things, off-roading and towing. It does have a hitch and a seven pin connector, but this is a luxury model. This is a platinum edition, which comes out to be about over $61,000, the way you see it configured here. And it's a very comfortable truck. It has the new 5.6 liter V8 with 390 horsepower. It's rated at towing 8,500 pounds, but there is one issue with towing. Um, it does not have a trailer brake controller. And as you know, we test all the trucks in the mountains on our I gauntlet and going down the hill is very important. So you have to have a trailer brake controller. If you don't, there are a few things you can do. You can install one. Let me show you inside. You know, usually some trucks have them on this side or even in the center console. The Armada does not have one. You could either install one aftermarket or you can set up your trailer so your trailer handles the brakes for you. You can either do it with a hitch, which has an actuator on it, or have a module, an electronic module in the trailer to help you with braking on the downhill. So Andrew, what are we gonna do with it? So, how about we take it off-road? Armada, Armada is basically based on the Patrol from Europe. Patrol's been known to be a very capable off-roader. So how about we take it on the gold mine hill and see how it does, the brand new Armada. That sounds like a plan, Andre. So guys, we'll take it up the mountain and uh, we won't tow with it. Besides, we've already towed with the Infinity version of this. Right, we? so the 2015 QX80, which is basically a very similar vehicle to yeah, the Armada. Check that out, TFL truck. Yep. And uh, thanks for watching these behind the scenes videos. 
Now you're in the know. That could be a new catchphrase, Andre. In the know. In the know. I think somebody else has used that. <laughs> anyway, thanks for watching and see you guys next time. Ciao. See ya. Meet the 2017 Infiniti QX30. And recently I had a chance to chat with the guy responsible for the, well, the entire car, the chief engineer. And that interview and that everything you ever wanted to know video is coming up right now on TFL Now.